Okay, this is Caramel Sunday, and we're going to treat this as, as ear mites. It's been very wet, and apparently it started, and I just caught how bad this has gotten this morning. This is not good. So step one is I'm going to put some olive oil in here and very carefully get these crusties out. And step two is he's going to get a couple drops of Ivermec. Now, this, as I've coated this good with, with just regular olive oil, ooh, it's okay. I know, it's bright. It's okay. And then we're going to just very gently massage the base of the ear. See, we already have goop coming out. So I'm just going to very, let that set for a little bit. Make sure it's in there real good. And we're just going to very gently massage the base of the ear and then very slowly start to scrape that out with some paper towel. And I went ahead and I got that in both ears. So I might have to go grab some uh, cotton, cotton swabs in a minute. But yeah, that's, that's step one is coat it. And uh, that'll that'll kill and starve out the initial mites. But the olive oil, you let it sit a little bit, does a really good job of just gently softening that, so you can just pull it out really carefully. So I'm going to go ahead and very carefully get this stuff out as it softens. Don't force it. Don't scrape it, or you'll hurt the rabbit. But go ahead and get that crusty stuff out the best you can once it's soft. Stuff that's really deep in there. What I actually did was I just added more olive oil. And then I'm like slowly massaging the base and letting it soak in. You can see it's pushing it up. Poured more olive oil in there. You see it's like up to the top. And so down here we're just going to very gently massage the base of the ear. And you can see that, that gunk is coming. This came out of that one ear. Very gently just kind of massaging it out. You know, he's covered in a lot of oil. But see how much cleaner that is. And that was me, you know, putting it in there and just kind of massage the base and all that gunk that's in the deep in the ear canal will work its way up. And then you can just very carefully pick it out with this type of Ivermec, 1% sterile solution. I prefer using this um, topically on the rabbits for this because it's made to be injected. It doesn't have extra alcohols and stuff like the blue Ivermectin pour on. So this is a little um, less painful for them. And you can kind of um, angle it in deeper with the syringe. So uh, once he's all cleared up, it's going to be uh, two or three drops in each ear and a couple drops on the back. Um, I am going to try to get as much of the uh, uh, oil off the ear first as possible with cotton swabs. It's just a couple drops in each ear and on the back of, of the back. Prevent medicine from going everywhere when they in inevitably will shake their head. You can actually pop a cotton ball in there for a minute until it gets a chance to soak in. It's okay, Bobby. I know. All right, and then we're gonna give him a minute just to check him over, make sure that all the all the medicines where it needs to be, get him cleaned up a little bit more, and then pop him back outside. Just to follow up, he's still we still got some oil on here, but um, just to check to see how that ear's doing a day or so later. Easy, baby. There, you see that's a ton clearer. I got a little bit of scabies around the edge. I might give that a day or two to kind of kind of heal. And then I might very carefully just clear that out with some olive oil. But you can see it's very loosely on there. So probably just very gently with a Q-tip we can get those removed. Good boy. And that's again pretty much cleared up on the other side. So see the Ivermic takes care of most of that. But I'm going to let this kind of sit and continue to heal. But a thousand times better. Just got a little bit of gunk, and then um, we'll go ahead and retreat that in a, in a couple of days once it, it calms down a little bit. And you do very good. And then we're gonna go try to find you a nice pet home. But we wanna make sure that you're completely clear first. Okay, you're such a good boy, Carmel Sunday.